Good morning, I'm Dr. Greenwald. I'm the director of the PATHS and Bridge to Career programs. You'll be arriving on campus on June 26th and we'll be doing wraparound team meetings the first week of June. What I want to talk to you about today is the talk about sex book and the sexual um, safety and boundaries acknowledgement. You are to um, actually read this with your parents and then sign the acknowledgement along with your parents that you have read it prior to attending the Bridge to Career program on June 26th. We want to make sure that you're safe. I want to provide you a couple of rules that will be in place for the Bridge to Career summer program. Um, strictly for the summer, you are not allowed to date other individuals in the program. It brings drama into the classroom and, and we don't need drama over the summer. Um, after that, it's your choice. Um, another thing, um, males are not allowed in females' rooms. Females are not allowed in males' rooms. Um, and um, if that, I'm not going to be going around and checking and making sure that's not happening, but if I find out about it, the two individuals that are, are connected will be sent home. So please don't do that. Um, this sexual boundary, I mean sexual, talk about sex book will be available in electronic format um, along with the forms that you'll need to fill out on the Bridge to Career website. Uh, Ms. Day has sent you the link to those forms. Please access this book and read it prior to attending the um, Bridge to Career uh, program on June 26th and preferably that you read it before your wraparound team meeting so if you have any questions. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, howdy. I'm Mary Worley. I'm the program coordinator for the Bridge to Career Pass program. Um, I just wanted to make sure to let you guys know if you look over this checklist that's available online, it outlines all of the different forms you'll need to complete for the program before we start, you're going to want to make sure you've got your DARS paperwork included. That will include a diagnostic review, any relevant case notes, or, and eligibility. Um, your last IEP paperwork, just provide a summary of performance and your present level of performance if needed. The new updated acronym for that is the PLAAFP if you don't have any notes on the plot. Um, go ahead and provide a high school diploma copy if you're graduating this semester and you don't have that yet, just please have that to us before you begin PATHS program in the fall. And provide a copy of your driver's license, your state ID, and your social security card. Um, you'll also want to go over the Bridge to Career program expectations. This is a two-page document you, which you will sign at the bottom. And these are just some of our basic rules, and we want you to make sure you have an understanding of that before you come in. You've got your compliance form as well. This will outline the different compliance and fractures and kind of the steps taken after each infracture. Hopefully we don't have to get this far, but never hurts to know. And then here's your scholarship form application. You'll want to include your name and essay, documentation of your financial need, and whether or not you're receiving any DARS assistance. Go ahead and you can email that to me or fax it at the number that's provided on the form. Thanks. My name is Jade Ruiz. And I'm Sydney Coker. And we are going to be staff members this summer for Bridge to Career. Um, today we're going to talk about just a little bit of about what you're going to be doing when you're here. Um, you will be coming on June 26th and you'll be staying in Rudder Residence Hall. To find more information about where this is located on campus, um, you can go to reslife.tamu.edu and look at the Residence Hall and find Rudder Residence Hall and then from there you can get the location. Um, However, we recommend all students to download the TAMU mobile app. It is on Apple and Android devices um, because it has a map that all students can use um, and we will be using it all summer to help you get comfortable with campus and where you can find the bus routes and you can get all kinds of good information on there. So 
we definitely recommend you downloading that app. And again, it's the TAMU mobile app. And um, when you come on June 26th, we will be checking in and moving all of your stuff into Rudder Hall from 2 to 4 p.m. And we are super excited for everyone to be here. From 4 to 5, we're going to have a welcome meeting with the students, and then the parents will have a welcome meeting as well. And then from 5.30 to 6.30, we'll be having dinner at Sabisa Dining Hall. This is where you'll be eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner all throughout the summer. Um, and every student will be given a meal card, so don't worry. Um, you will be provided three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, seven days a week and you will go most likely with your friends once you meet people and there will be all different camps there and programs um, and there will usually be some sort of staff members there um, the food is really good there's all different options to choose from and to find the dining options if you have any questions you can go to dineoncampus.com slash tamu and you can find more information about that Okay, so now we're going to talk about what you should be bringing with you to Bridge to Career and what you should be packing. Um, one thing that you need to bring for sure is your sexual safety and boundaries acknowledgement form. Um, don't just forget that. Put that in your backpack, which is the first thing you'll need is a backpack. <laughs> Looking like this. You'll also need to have um, a 1.5 inch binder with dividers and paper included in those. I don't, we don't have that. Okay. Um, pens, pencils, and highlighters, all of those just for your good old school supplies. A planner. This can be on your phone, on an iPad, a laptop, or it can be a paper copy. Um, paper always seems to be the best option for us. Also, we need you to have a laptop provided with Microsoft Office on it. So if your laptop does not have Microsoft Office on it now, try to get that before you come to Bridge to Career. And if you have any questions about reserving a laptop because you do not have one, you can email uh, Mr. Hamill um, at hamiltravis4 at gmail.com. And all this information is online, so we suggest you print this form and then just check stuff off as you go. Yes. Okay, some of the things you'll be needing for your dorm will be a laundry basket with detergent and dryer sheets. Laundry will be inside the dorm, so you'll be able to do the washer and dryer in there. Pillow, blanket, and sheets. Extra long twin is what the dorms provide for the bed, so those are the types of sheets you'll need to provide. Towels, personal hygiene products, which do include toilet paper, soap, shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste, anything you use on a daily basis that you'll need to be bringing. And and you, you will be provided uh, yeah. toilet paper in your dorm however sometimes you run out before the dorms are cleaned um, so we always suggest bringing a little bit extra in case you do happen to run out you'll always have toilet paper yes deodorant is also important it's hot down here <laughs> yes bring extra extra, extra strong extra strength because <laughs> um, it's hot in the college station okay um, an alarm clock if you don't use your cell phone um, you'll also need to provide a driver's license or a state ID if you have one of those that works as well. A wallet, which includes your health insurance card, very important. The small wallet tends to be the best for summer. You're walking around a lot, so something that you can carry on you really easily. A flashlight would be pr probably smart. Hangers to hang all your nice clothes up on, and then an iron and ironing board for sure for your professional attire. Mm -hmm. Also, a cell phone. And a charger. Do not forget your charger. They do not provide those. Um, anything medication-wise that you'll be needing to bring, don't forget that. Labeled, all the good stuff that you should know about. Um, information about where you'll need to go for medical care if needed. So if you know you have some type of medical needs, just make sure you have any information brought with you down here. Or in case you get sick, you'll need to know where you can where your insurance will be right. covered. And anything for a personal budget for wants and needs, and this can include like Starbucks or um, stuff at the A&M bookstore, t-shirts, anything like that. So bring your own money for things like that because we do not provide anything like coffee mm -hmm. any, at all. Um, and a water bottle. One will be provided to you eventually, but I would suggest bringing your own for now until that happens. Um, Transportation supplies, $50 for transportation budget. That's for the district bus. Um which is called the Brazos Valley Transit. And so we will be taking that a lot in your community day 
course. Um, and so that $50 transportation budget can either help with going towards the fees for that, or if you end up ever taking Ubers or taxis um, or any other transportation while you're here because you'll make friends and you might have a free time during the weekend and want to go to the movies or something fun. Yes, it's very important. So clothes, another very important item. Um, professional clothing and shoes, and for girls this can include skirts, slacks, um, dresses, heels, um, flats, something like that. And then you'll be wearing, you know, suits, button downs, polos, anything nice, your Sunday best. That's what you need to be bringing for your professional clothing and shoes. You want like flats. You don't really need to bring heels unless for some reason it's the only thing that goes with your outfit. We really consider bringing like comfortable flats um, that you can also wear when you're dressing up professional or when you're dressing comfortable. Yes. And then that also brings us to comfortable clothing and shoes. Again, it's very hot in College Station and we want you guys to be comfortable. So we suggest bringing t-shirts and shorts and things that will be easily worn while walking around a lot and being active. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes are a must. It's going to keep your feet from not hurting as much. Um, comfortable tennis shoes. Comfortable. If you bring flip-flops or sandals, bring comfortable ones. And um, this also moves us into like when you're going into your exercise course, um, you will want to bring, you will need those comfortable tennis shoes and um, exercise clothes of some sort, most likely like a, a short sleeve shirt and shorts of some sort, um, like workout shorts. Um, and we also have a swimming pool on campus that you can use in your free time at the rec center. Um, a lot of students went to that last year in groups. And so you can bring a swimsuit for that or if you go to any of the pools around our community, um, that will be really beneficial. Don't forget it because if you don't bring a swimsuit and a lot of people go swimming, you might want to end up going swimming. Um, You'll also want to bring a hat. We wear hats a lot, especially in community day because we're always outside um, or getting on buses and stuff and it gets really hot here. So it's really good to have that shade um, from hats or sunglasses. Um, if you have any other questions about things to bring, remember to download this um, and print it. Check things off and um, do not forget about that sexual safety and boundaries acknowledgement form. Make sure you bring that with you. Remember, you are representing um, Bridge to Career while you're here, so we suggest you pack modest clothing. So when you're thinking about that, um, just consider what you're packing before you actually put it in your suitcase. We do not suggest tank tops. You can wear that in your own time, but that's up to you. Um, we also want to remind you to bring sunscreen because you will be out in the sun and um, you definitely want to take care of your skin. You might also want to bring bug spray in case you're out in the evening so that you don't get bit by mosquitoes or anything. And I think that's everything. We kind of want to talk about things not to bring um, when you come to Bridge to Career. A couple of those things would be for um, tank tops would be one. You're more than welcome to wear them in your free time or if you're hanging out in the dorm with your friends on the weekends, but we just don't suggest wearing them outside unless you bring an appropriate amount of sunscreen. Um, but we also just don't think it's an appropriate attire for a bridge to career. Um, heels, again, we don't suggest bringing those because the flats are more um, comfortable and you'll be able to walk around in those a lot more. A lot of students like to bring like cute um, outfits and they like to wear them throughout the day but when you're running around outside or going to all of your classes they're gonna get like you'll get really hot and sweaty so you can dress cute but remember to keep in mind like comfort um, comfort over cute yes for this program the cute only applies for professional attire and it shouldn't be cute it should be professional so whenever you're wearing these clothes just to make sure you're you're packing for comfort and you're packing for um, what's going to help you be more successful you'll want to bring like hair hair things to keep your hair up because um, with the heat you will not you might not want your hair pulled um down you want it pulled back the last thing that we are going to talk about today is this form right here. You'll see it online. It's called the Bridge to Career Paths Pale Goals. And PALE stands for Professional, Academic, and Independent Living. So we, you are going to use this form to identify um, your goals and what skills that you want to leave the program with. 
And the first question that you'll be asked, and you can fill this out, is what are your expectations of the Bridge to Career and or Paths program? What skills would you like to add to your PAL, which again is Professional Academic and Independent Living Goals? So you'll answer that on the first sheet. Make sure you bring this to you, bring this to Bridge to Career. Um, you'll also be asked, what assistive technologies, if any, do you currently utilize? This is really important information for us to know because if you don't use any assistive technologies but might need them, it'll help us figure out what you need. And if you have been using assistive technologies, we'll know what works for you. Um, so this is only to benefit you um, and help in supporting you. We also have a place for you to place check marks next to any professional skills areas that you want us to focus on while you're here. So this might be communication skills, you need to better your time management or organization strategies. Maybe you need support in transitioning to college or resume writing and networking and interview skills for a future job. Um, if you need help with disability disclosure, email, etiquette, communication, or apps or software for your disability, um, let us know by checking a mark and so that we can support you while you're here. And also if you need help with canceling or scheduling any appointments, that's really beneficial in case you have to go to the doctors or get sick while you're here. Um, you'll also probably have to make an appointment of some sort to meet with any staff maybe at some point. So this can be really beneficial by us knowing if that's something that you will need support with. Um, there's also on the next page um, a place for you to place check marks next to any academic areas that you would like to focus on. Yes, so this can include goal setting, homework assignments, memory and concentration, anything to do with study skills or how you study best. And this can also include things like participating in class, like reading strategies. Any of these things that you check, we expect you wanting, you, you're wanting to work on them. So you check it and tell us like what type of things you're wanting to work on academically. And then the last place is for independent living areas that you want to focus on. So again, you'll place check marks. Um, just so that we know how we can support you um, and where you need the specific support so that you can do better in these areas. So this might include um, being able to self-advocate for yourself and have self-determination. It might include self-monitoring strategies or stress management, or if you want to get involved in extracurricular activities, um, you'll check a mark there. It also includes like your health and wellness and social interactions, also disability awareness, residence hall living, um, the ability to use public transportation alone or with a group, um, or the ability to drive or learn budgeting skills. We will do uh, public transportation as a group, um, and so you will, and everyone will learn that if you know it or not, because we really focus on that um, throughout the summer. And make sure that you fill this out, front the two pages, sign it, and put it in your backpack with the other documents that you'll be bringing. How do you bridge to career students? My name is Ms. Gushanis, and I look forward to meeting each of you this summer. But before you come to Bridge to Career, there are several forms that you need to complete. First is the medical information and release form. This is two pages of information on how we can get to know you better. And it's okay if you need to ask your parents or family members to complete this form. One of our other forms is the medical release addendum. It's a waiver that you fully understand and can participate in the Bridge to Career program. One of our other forms is the Media Consent Form. This allows us to video or take pictures of yourself as you participate in Bridge to Career, and that way we can share your experiences with other potential students. Additionally, we have the Student Academic Personal Information Release Form. This allows us to collaborate and share information with our agencies such as Brazos Valley for Center for Independent Living, BBCL, DARS, or any other affiliated staff. We also have an emergency contact and telephone information sheet. 
This is important for us to have on file just in case there's anything that comes up or emergencies that we need to contact a family member or loved one. Lastly, I'll be talking about the travel release for Bridge to Career. This is your transportation form and this helps you understand that you will be traveling and learning to use the A&M buses, taxis, Ubers, and the Brazos Valley Transit District. Thanks and looking forward to seeing y'all. Gig'em!